Hello there. So uh, I, I still have another one of these fun friends. So we are gonna keep the party going. But in the meantime, I'm gonna use this fun pan because I just can't get enough of it and I love it so much. I'm gonna butter it. This is real butter. You can do vegan butter, but this was just soft and readily available. Okay. Then we're gonna make our like dry mixture. I've got flour and thyme, dry thyme. If you have fresh, that's even better. I have some salt and pepper. It's very generous, very generous salt and pepper. Heavy on the pepper. And then normally this recipe, it's from Smitten Kitchen. Can't go wrong. Ask for Parmesan, but I used all the Parmesan. So you know what I have? That. And that's what that's gonna be. Okay? Yes? Are you loving it? I love it. Then I've gotta chop up and slice a whole bunch of stuff. So let's do that in time lapse. And today, living on the edge because I'm using my mandolin. And it makes me very nervous every time I use it. But, I mean, I really wanna have thin slices. What do you think? So now I'm just gonna do some dots of butter because why not? And just to make it extra better, I'm gonna do some olive oil as well. Did you see how some of the potatoes are a little bit like brown? They're brown, I, I don't care. They're gonna get cooked, you guys. It's okay if your food does not look perfect. It's, it's gonna be ingested. It's. It's fine for things to not look perfect. Uh, okay, wait, let's do a little olive oil. Do, 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 do. I want it to like seep into it and be like so good. And we're just gonna do this. Oh my gosh. If you need more cheese, like add more cheese. And then the very tops of those green onions here. Now, if you noticed, when I cut the green onions, I left a generous amount of the white part because I'm, I'm making an onion farm here. So this is just a little dish that I have. I leave the roots in there, and then you can see some of them, they're, they're just gonna grow. These ones I started yesterday. They're gonna grow new green onions, and I'll be able to use those. I can also stick these in the garden, but it's fun to garden in your kitchen. Just too. before, Cute. You baked it with the lid. You could do foil for the first part, and now I'm going to take it off and cook it so it can start browning. Man. There she is after. Listen, you can hear the sizzle. So yeah. Smitten Kitchen says that the, the, the day after is better for this recipe, but I can't wait. So let's taste it today and then we'll compare and contrast with tomorrow. It's all my favorite things. Cheese, potatoes, zucchini, and thyme. So I'll catch you back here tomorrow. We'll see it like in a nice wedge and it's gonna be great we'll we'll just see which day oops we like better it's the next morning there's only this much left because um i'm just not gonna tell you who ate the most of it last night it was so good okay so here is when it's cold look at that good like layering that's a good one Mm-hmm. It's so amazing. Is it better than when it's hot? 
I can't decide. I think it's delicious at any time of day and at any temperature, but I mean, that's good. Have a wonderful, delicious day. Go find that zucchini and slice it real thin, real thin. Those potatoes real thin. And make sure you use the, the guard on the mandolin when you do that real thin.